Welcome to Conestoga Conversations Indigenous Edition. In this series, every conversation with student recruiters will be exploring the programs, pathways, and clusters at Conestoga College. From a one-year college certificate to a four years honors degree, Conestoga has multiple pathways to help you reach your goals. In today's conversation, we're going to be talking about the informatics and life science clustered programs at our Kitchener Dune campus. Some of you may be wondering, what does a student recruiter do? We are specialists in helping future and prospective students by providing reliable information about programs and services, answering any Conestoga related question on a one-to-one -one basis and within group settings, and leading on virtual tours and once we're back to normal touring through our eight campus locations. Conestoga student recruiters work with Indigenous students, students interested in degrees, trades and apprenticeships, and the general population. My name is Roxanne Chuana. I'm the Indigenous recruiter at Conestoga College and I'm from Wacomacong, unceded territory on beautiful Manitoulin Island. And my name's Alicia Rivard, and I work with the general population at Conestoga College, and I have a background in career development. We are really, really excited to introduce you to Lindsay Schalm, who's the coordinator of biotechnology technician. Lindsay, why don't you introduce yourself to everyone? Hi everyone, my name is Lindsay. I'm really excited to be here and I hope to meet some of you in the future if you choose to take the biotechnology program. Thank you, Lindsay. So again, like Roxanne said, we will be talking today about our informatics and life sciences clustered programs at our Kitchener Dune campus. So in our School of Health and Life Sciences, there are different types and lengths of programs ranging from one to four years in length. Just a quick note before we get started, the Pre-Health Sciences Certificate, both the certificates and diplomas and the degrees in advanced diploma streams can help you prepare for college life and workload. Successful completion of the program will add additional marks towards your grades, which can assist students to gain admission into our more competitive programs. For most two-year programs, you'll need your pre-health sciences certificates and diplomas. And for degree and advanced diplomas, you'll need your degrees and advanced diplomas. A few examples within um, the School of, Life, of Health and Life Sciences programs include a one-year college certificate like our pre-health sciences, either certificates and diplomas or the degrees and advanced diplomas. We have two-year diploma programs such as our biotechnology technician, which Lindsay is here to talk about with us today. We have three-year advanced diplomas and many of our three-year advanced diplomas have optional co-ops. And then we have four years honors degree and today we're going to be talking about our Bachelor of Applied Health Information Science and Bachelor of Environmental Public Health. So now we're going to actually get started um, and we have our guest Lindsay with us today. She is going to talk about the biotechnology program um, and uh, let you know all the good stuff involved with that. Why don't you uh, take her away Lindsay? Thanks Roxanne. Um, so I'm pleased to talk about the biotech programs. We've got two different streams that are available. I apologize for my dog scratching in the background. Um, we have the two year college diploma and we also have a fast track stream, which is available to students who have previously completed a degree. So we'll talk about the two year diploma first. And that diploma um, takes place from September to April each year. So you have a nice long break over the summer if you wanna have a part-time job or something like that. Um, and we spend a lot of time in the lab. That's kind of our claim to fame is that lab time with lots of hands-on skills being learned. And what's really nice is that we have small lab sizes. So when you're in the lab, you would have a maximum of 35 students with you in the lab. So you get to work in small groups, usually of two, sometimes three, which means that you actually do the skills yourself. You're not just standing there, you know, watching the professor do a demonstration or looking at your lab partner doing the work. You're actually immersed in what's going on and learning those skills. And that's something that we've heard from our employers is that once our students enter the workforce, they um, don't need much training at all because they've got all of that hands-on experience. So if that's what you like, if you like you know, learning something maybe in lecture in the morning and then applying what you've learned in the lab in the afternoon, I think you'll have a great time. And 
our students tend to be really good friends. Um, they all try to help each other. They'll have WhatsApp groups or use Facebook Messenger. Um, you know, pre-pandemic times, they would form uh, study groups on campus. We've got tables and couches outside the lab. So it's a really nice environment. You get to be close to your professors, close to other students, and we see those lifelong friendships develop. Um, what's also nice is we, well, we have lots of connections to local industry and we can help guide our students to find jobs in that way. If you do choose to go on to university, we have several pathways that you can take. Uh, for example, we have a pathway to the University of Waterloo to their biomedical sciences program or biology and our students can complete that those degrees in two and a half years. So that means um, you would come here for your two year diploma and then you could carry on to University of Waterloo for two and a half years. And so in four and a half years, you have your diploma and your degree, whereas to take a degree normally, it could take you four to five years. So it's really, um, a great experience in that you get those hands on skills at college and then you go on to university and you can maybe delve a little bit deeper into some of the theory. And we've heard from some of our students that go this route that they're really leaders in those university labs because they've learned a lot of the skills before so they can help to, you know, almost mentor their fellow undergrads. Um, so that's one path to the University of Waterloo. We also have pathways to the University of Guelph. And for those pathways, you have a couple of options. You could do biology, you can do microbiology and molecular biology and biochemistry. And so that's the same sort of time frame you're looking at is about two and a half years. Um, so again, in four and a half years, you've got your degree and your diploma. And finally, we have a pathway to the Bachelor of Environmental Public Health program at Conestoga College, which uh, we'll be talking about shortly. And so for that pathway, you can actually complete it in two years. So you've got your two year diploma and a degree in two years um, and you stay on campus at Conestoga, which is great as well. You can come back and say hi to your professors in the biotech program. Um, but all that being said, there is no need to get your degree to get a good job. Many of our grads have advanced to the role of manager in their labs without having a degree. So our diploma is um, highly regarded in industry, again, because uh, employers know that you have those hands on skills. So we have um, a lot of local companies that will hire our grads, for example, Labstat, which is on Manitou, right down the road from Conestoga College. We have um, ALS in Waterloo that also hires a lot of our grads. Um, but in general, you could work as a lab tech in the food industry, in the environmental fields, working in you know, bioremediation, um, bioplastics. If you are interested in the field of healthcare, we don't work one on one with patients, but what we do is help patients kind of behind the scenes. So, um, you know, the pandemic is at the forefront of my mind right now, as I'm sure it's uh, this is the same for a lot of you. But um, as a biotechnology technician, you could be working on developing vaccines, developing treatments for different um, diseases. There is one company in Guelph that produces antibodies through tobacco plants, and those antibodies can be used to treat breast cancer. They can be used to treat Ebola. Um, they can be used as anti-nerve gas agents. Um, so lots of stuff is going on in biotech, and it's really exciting because Essentially, what we're doing is we're using um, living organisms or the products they produce to solve problems. Um, so, you know, we're producing those vaccines or we're trying to make greener products to help the environment or use bacteria to clean up the environment and so on. Um, so lots of options as a grad from the biotech program, whether it's pharmaceutical, environmental, medical, pure chemistry. Um, the only thing we don't do is the med lab tech route. So that is its own 
animal, its own diploma. Um, so basically anything aside working in the hospital, analyzing blood and tissue samples is what we do. So if you can find a lab, you can work in it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. That, that was great. Thank you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go in and talk a little bit about the Bachelor of, Impli in, of Environmental Public Health. It's also known as BEPH, or you might hear me saying um, EPH throughout uh, my information. So this program is an innovative four-year program that does include a co-op that will prepare graduates for a number of progressive public and private sector careers as environmental public health professionals. So it has been accredited by the Canadian Institute of Public Health Inspectors or CIPHI. Uh, the EPH focuses on disease prevention and creating healthy supportive environments. It also includes assessment and control of factors in the environment that target disease prevention and positively impact population and community health. The scope of practice in EPH includes some areas such as education, enforcement, um, and health hazard identification for the purpose of prevention and control intervention of EPH ha hazards. Also, the protection of the public health and the environment in food safety, food security, air quality, injury prevention, recreational swimming areas and water, drinking water quality, uh, and emergency preparedness and planning. So readiness for practice will be developed in the curriculum and it focuses around an experiential, experiential learning activities that will develop knowledge of the EPH theory and its application in practice. So you will get a lot of that hands-on, uh, whether it's uh, with simulations, labs, or co-op. The program will be innovative in its use of technology to investigate issues, organize and manage inquiry, aid collaboration, communication information. Students will then be challenged to consider multiple perspectives in understanding EPH practice and policy, determining professional practices that positively impact population and community, health and developing in leadership perspectives, and confidence to contribute to the EPH professions. When you do graduate from this program, you will be eligible to complete to compete for a variety of public and private sector careers, including food safety specialists, quality assessment control specialists, uh, environmental health officer, health and safety officer. There's a lot out there that you can choose from. Students will also be eligible to enter the certificate certification process to become a certified public health inspector. Do you have, Lindsay, is there anything that you want to say? Do you, anything that you might have not thoughts on for this one? Yeah, just anecdotally, um, because some of our grads have gone on to complete their degree, um, they've all had a great experience. And um, like you said, there are lots of real world experiences. So they'll go on field trips to different splash pads and different pools and sample there for the water quality. Um, I've seen them inspect the kitchens at our daycare at Conestoga College as kind of like a mock simulation of how they would do a food inspection. And, um, you know, when I first heard of the, pro the program, I was thinking, OK, these are the people that just, you know, they go into restaurants and they inspect them. But it's far more than that. There's lots of job opportunities. And with the pandemic, you know, public health is key here. We see them keeping track of how many people have been vaccinated, how many people have COVID, um, spreading information about how to stay safe from different diseases and so on. So they really are, they play an important role within our community and lots of different diverse um, options for jobs. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank you. <clears throat> so now we're going to talk about the Bachelor of Applied Health Information Science or the BAHIS degree, which is delivered at the honors level to four year program with two paid co-op opportunities and actually a field placement in there too. It prepares graduates for a number of in demand careers in the healthcare industry. Graduates use applied and integrated knowledge from skills from health information science, biomedical and health sciences, information technology and management sciences to positively impact the healthcare system. So basically three different areas that they do spend a lot of time in. In one is biomedical sciences, management sciences and information technology. 
So with the biomedical, they build you from the ground up. If you have no background, it's okay. They're going to build, start with the fundamentals and build you up so that you're going to be able to interact in a clinical and interprofessional environment. With the management sciences, they're learning about health information management, health informatics, process improvement, project management, and more. The, um, sorry, the <laughs> health information uh, or the information technology, again, they're going to build you from the ground up, although it is a good idea to come in with some kind of background, although students nowadays do tend to have a background um, or are familiar with computers. Uh, so they build it from the ground up. And they're going to do things like writing commands to extract data from a database that they design. They implement some functionality changes. They build dashboards and more. These skills are in high demand. Uh, they support the data and information needs. They um, improve processes in um, different environments. They integrate different systems together. They support and integrate new technology, all while ensuring um, the privacy needs of their um, um, people. <laughs> Graduates will help build the gap between um, IT professionals and um, clinical uh, professionals. Job opportunities could include anything in a really wide variety of healthcare settings. It could be a primary healthcare team, uh, community care, working with vendors who sell um, products, and um, it's a really innovative and um, about improving healthcare. So if you would like to connect, oh, sorry, we're going to talk about facilities now. <laughs> yeah, well, we're, we're just going to really go quick, quickly over it. We just want to show you a few pictures of where you're going to be. Uh, Lindsay, would you like to uh, talk to this, the viewers about the science lab? The science lab is the one on the left hand side of the PowerPoint. Yeah, sure. Um, so with biotech, we have two labs on the first floor of our Cowan Life Sciences Center, or sorry, Cowan Health Sciences Center. And um, as you can kind of see from the picture, they're nice and big and bright, and all of the benches face forward. So your instructor and teaching assistants will give you a little bit of an overview about the lab at the start, and they'll be at the you know front bench and everyone can see what's going on. Whereas sometimes you see labs that have lab benches where the students face each other and they can't really see what's going on at the front. Um, so what we hear from industry partners and others who come in and tour our labs is, whoa, these are huge and they're, um, you know, we've got lots of windows, it's white, it's, um, we're always, you know, busy in there. Sometimes we play music. So it's just a fun environment um, and very conducive to learning. Thanks, Lindsay. The one that's on the right, just so everybody has an idea, uh, when Rox was talking about the health, uh, the BAHIS program, the Health Informatics Hub is actually a secure open access lab for students to practice their communication, technical, and studying skills, but they can also go there to collaborate on projects and get support with their, for their courses and activities. There's always someone in there who can help you and guide you. It is a hub that is very warm, welcoming, and a safe place for all the students. So anybody in the Bahis program, this is a little hub for you. If you would like to connect with Lindsay, we have her contact information here. We'll make sure it's available on all the links too. And she would be happy to talk to you about the biotechnology as well as the fast track program. And if you'd like to hear anything else about um, the programs that we talked about today in our School of Health and Life Sciences, please connect with us. You can set up a Zoom conversation, you can text yourselves, or you can just shoot us an email, whatever is your preferred method of communication. Until next time, Bama Pete.